Today we're gonna be talking about my little entertainment center. And... So I've been asked about my little entertainment center more times than I can count. So I figured it's time I make a video where I walk through it. The projector I went with is the AXA P300 Pico projector. The reason I went with this one is because it's not that expensive, it doesn't draw a ton of power, it's pretty compact, and it has an internal battery. So if I ever want to unplug it and say use it outside of the van, I can for like an hour. So the native resolution is uh, 1280 by 800, which is like an HD projector. It's just not like a 1080 or 4K type of deal. Uh, and that's why it's not as like expensive as the other ones. And it's not Bluetooth or wireless. You have to wire everything into it. It's 500 lumens, so it's okay. In situations with some light, it really needs to be pretty dark, especially if what you're watching is dark, like it's a night scene in a movie. It doesn't flicker in real life. That's just how it looks in here. But for me, I'm not using this really unless it is dark and like stormy out or it's nighttime. It's got a handful of ports, HDMI, VGA, micro SD, USB, and AV inputs. And at a certain distance, it has the capability of making a 120 inch image. Now, in my van, I don't have that big of a, a throw. So what do they do usually with the TV? They, uh, they go corner to corner. Uh, I don't know, 50, roughly? It's like a 50 inch TV, kind of, ish. It doesn't have an adjustable throw. This is about as close as I could get it without having to like make a special bracket or some type of mount to push it forward. The distance from my projector here to the screen here is 56, about 56 inches. So I lucked out with it being like the perfect size to fit between my kitchen countertop and my top like food cabinet. So I ended up mounting mine upside down because the threaded mounting point is on the bottom of this projector. And I bought a little like adjustable swivel head mounting piece, which I'll just link in the description so that I could drill it into this upper cabinet here. But because I mounted it upside down, there is an option where you can flip the image and then have that projected right side up. And you can also adjust the focus and like the tilt of it. Another little downfall is just the sound of the fan itself, the internal fan. Since it's mounted right above your head where you're sitting, you can hear it. And that's about it. I mean, it's a pretty decent little thing for the price and uh, I've been happy with it so far. This does have an internal speaker, but it sounds like a tin can. So I knew I needed to get an external uh, speaker of some sort. So eventually I did go and buy a UE Boom 2. I, I snagged that because it was pretty like robust and had good reviews and it was waterproof. It says it's got a 360 sound. So whichever way it's oriented, um, you're still gonna get decent sound quality from it. And in order to make sure that it always has like power, I'll just plug that directly into the back of the projector. So while the projector's running, it's charging the Bluetooth speaker. And then I connect the speaker itself to the projector for sound with a little aux cable. Then there's my Xbox and it isn't the cheapest or lightest or smallest or energy efficient option for getting like streaming services in your van, but it's what I had and I didn't want to spend any extra money. Plus, I do still play games from time to time, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you can figure out something else to go with. I guess I can kick them all on. It's saying I've got a current of like between 10 and 12 amps, between 130 and 150 watts. So it's not great, but it's manageable and I can run several hours with my current setup. Now I initially had whatever they use for projection screens that I cut down to size, but I had a lot of issues with it. Over the two years that I had it up, it got super dirty and wrinkly and kept wanting to fall off. Because it's on my door, uh, when I open it, sometimes it would rub up against the 
side of the van and if the van was dirty, it would pick up that dirt. Or if it was raining out, it would get soaked and then get that dirt and then like sink into the fabric and I've washed it and it doesn't really come out. And Archer also eats up there and sometimes he has a dirty body and he's hairy and so he'd get up there and smudge some dirt and hair on it. And so it was a constant battle. I figured I'd just get rid of that screen and go with a quarter inch piece of ply. So I cut it that to size and then I painted it with a matte white. I replaced it and then just screwed that piece of ply into it and it has worked way better. And that's it, that's every little piece of my little entertainment center. You know, I'm happy with it. It's not like a super expensive fancy thing, but I don't need it to be. I don't use it too often, but I still do use this uh, from time to time, whether it's like watching a movie or playing games or having a movie night with friends, which is something we just did. We're gonna have a movie night tonight, but first we're gonna make some treats. Am I on camera? Are you ready to start snacks? Yeah. Oreos, white chocolate, lard, puppy corn. <laughs> That's exactly how you want your oil to look. So the gentleman on the video calls for a fit of a cup of popcorn. Did you see that? Flick of the wrist. Oh. Hot to stop. Now we're gonna transfer this to a bowl. Oh wait, we gotta Art. crush our Oreos. Three. Six. Why bag? Nine. I can't count and answer your questions. And now we mash the cookies. <laughs> We're taking this chocolate, 200 grams, two tablespoons of this vegetable extract. <laughs> Shortening. <laughs> and we're gonna cheat. We're gonna run in the house. We're gonna microwave it. Kind of smells like uh, those old people candies that have the moth balls in them. <laughs> A malt ball. Oh, malted, like malted chocolate? Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was all seeds. <laughs> Coming in to watch a movie? Uh. Eyebrow, what's on your eyebrow, dude? Go on. Oh, he did want to watch a movie. Fargo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Is that supposed to be? Rabbit. It's a rabbit. <laughs> we got four people in here, two dogs and an asshole. <laughs> I'm a movie screen. <laughs> a movie night in a van. I'm comfy. And you made us you were so good. Look at me eat a little bit. Now I want this whole fucking thing. Yeah, this come on. This is not helping hot girl summer. I grew up Irish. The Bronx. Bronx. Okay, that's it. Uh, that is my little entertainment center, and I wish I could show this like quality more, but you just get a bunch of flicker with this camera. Um, and it wouldn't really do it any justice. It looks good for what it is. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, go, if you're feeling generous, go check out our Patreon and some of our merch. We have a little bit left on there, and if you're super generous, you can go check out my little skate shoe company, which is the reason why I live in a van in the first place. It's called Anomaly Footwear. All these will be linked in the description, and I guess that is it. Until next time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys smell that? No, you didn't sprinkle that with any turds, did you? <laughs>